Ho, ho, ho! What does Santa Claus wear under his clothes? Well, let's find out! He wears his clothes from Outdoor Vitals. <laughs> All right. No commercial really intended here, but uh, this is Tom Mitchell, the Highland Traveler. And uh, I got a box this morning. I got an email last night with some stuff I'd ordered. The um, Dragon Wool hoodie and the Satu Adventure pants had come in from Outdoor, or were being shipped from Outdoor Vitals. And literally at 9.30 this morning, ding dong on the doorbell and there they were my outdoor vitals clothes so pretty cool huh this is the dragon wool hoodie these are the the satu i think that's how you pronounce it adventure pants and uh so um that's uh what i got that's what i got here um i uh had bought originally from these guys santa has stuff in his bag this uh, this jacket, this is the um, the Loft Tech uh, jacket. It's a synthetic down jacket. This is the Generation One, the first one they came out with. I bought it. I really liked it, and uh, so I started accumulating more gear from them. <laughs> so um, let me tell you a little bit about these. Um, so uh, when I saw that they were, uh, you know, taking orders for these, I went ahead and uh, joined their their club, their tribe, as it were, ten dollar membership a month, and that money goes right back towards purchases that you make. And um, I uh, I signed up for these this dragon wool hoodie. I just hate being cold anymore. Um, especially in the winter time and so uh, you could get both of these it was the the hoodie and the pants and um, so I signed up for them knowing they weren't be coming in for a while and and they came in so these are really cool this hoodie has the thumb the thumb hole on, on both uh, I really like the length of these I'm a short guy I'm 5'5 five five, and uh, I prefer, funnily, funnily, there's a new word for you, funnily, <laughs> funnily, yeah, uh-huh, so, I prefer, um, uh, longer sleeves on my outdoor gear, and these are nice and long, I mean, that will totally cover my hands, thumb loop goes through there, really nice, this is made of, uh, merino wool, um, I think it was like 85% merino wool, um, I'll show the specs on here, but, uh, really nice zip up this zips up I've got my mic on there so I'm not gonna zip it up all the way the hood uh, when it's zipped up the hood just comes around and fits your face nice and nice and tight I really like that that's a great feature um, so uh, you know this is like a base not the bottom base layer I actually have <laughs> merino wool uh, long johns on under this too because I just get cold easy anymore um, but this would be a this is a perfect uh, hoodie for lightweight backpacking taking it out all four seasons um, you know in the summer you can take it just as a as a if you want to cover your arms up and everything because the sun is cooking your brain when you're you know at 12,000 feet um, it, br it breathes well wicks well and uh, so I'm really liking it, I'm really thinking this is cool. So let me show you these pants. I'm not going to take them off, I promise. I won't take them off. <laughs> I do have long johns under them, but these are pretty cool. They have belt loops all the way around. They, they, I, this is a nice enough pant. I could wear this to work. I mean, I'm dead. <laughs> they look like a nice. They don't look like cargo pants. I wear cargo pants all the time. You see me always wearing cargo pants. And I love my cargo pants because I love pockets. But these, they are, this is a pant that I could wear to work if I wanted to. Um, and then turn right around and go hiking with. 
They are really nice, very comfortable. I uh, got the 3430s. 30s are always a little long for me because I'm short. It's really like a 29, but good luck finding a 29 if you're my height. Um, so 30s work fine. I mean, they'll drag on the ground if I'm barefooted like I am now, but when I'm in boots, they're fine. They have cinch strings. I don't know if you can see that right there that you can cinch them up tight if you want to pull in, uh, to pull them in around your boot more. Um, they have uh, an adjuster belt on them built right in. So you, if you don't want to wear a belt, you can just tighten that up. You just tighten that up right there. That's really nice. They have nice deep pockets. Look at how deep those pockets are. Look at that. For the front, they have nice pockets on the back that are actually have a, a nice flap over them so stuff won't pop out. And they, they got good stretch to them. I like that a lot. They have one cargo pant pocket on the side here. Right there, that's a nice deep pocket. Good for wallet, phone. And then they have vents on the outsides. They have hidden zipper where you can pull that down. And the only, my only problem with these is this. Am I on the right one? is this hidden zipper is a little bit snaggy. That's just the way it is with hidden zippers, honestly. Um, they have a nice vent uh, mesh there that uh, goes right on the inside so you can unzip both sides and have this great mesh uh, liner protecting your, you know, your skin from bugs or whatever. And uh, you see that that zipped up fine. It's a little bit catchy, but that's the life of a hidden zipper. So. I really, I really am liking these. Santa Claus brought me a great present this year. Um, I, uh, you know, I love supporting local companies and uh, I'm right here in the Salt Lake Valley and uh, Outdoor Vitals is right down three, three hours south of me in Cedar City, Utah. And um, I just always like supporting local companies when I can and uh, Tayson's gear is top notch. I mean, I'm really, I've really, really been digging this jacket. This is the, um, like I said, the Generation One Loft Tech jacket. This looks like a little jacket liner. When I first got it, it's not puffy, puffy like a standard puffy coat, um, but it's warm. I've had it um, as my top layer, just with some long johns underneath and a shirt down to 25 outside when I was out hiking and um, on my hike on Antelope Island I'll uh, post a link to that up here and it was great I mean I really have no complaints the generation one did have some issues on some of them with the uh, with the fill coming out in places this one hasn't really I've not seen it I noticed it on my wife's jacket just a little bit but it's not a big deal you know I mean it's just very very minimal I love the hoods on these things they tighten down really nice just with one pull and um, and then you can undo them really easy and uh, I'm really liking it I mean I, I wear it a lot my only complaint about this jacket is this the sleeves are not really long so you see if I put those thumb loops in then that's maxed out right there for me. And I'm a short guy. Um, and this is a medium, you know, and so they're they're maxing. You don't typically, I mean, reach your arms, extend your arms all the way out like that in most situations, unless you're reaching for something up high. Um, you know, but if you're just out on the trail and you want to put gloves on, put thumb loops over and that, you, they're, they're gonna be fine. So I really like this jacket. I like it so much that uh, I'm back. <laughs> when they came out with the uh, newer ver newer version, I had to buy it. <laughs> so um, this is the newer version Loft Tech. No, sorry, this is the down. This is the newer version Loft Tech, same gray. 
the same gray. I actually really like gray. I like my gear gray. Um, as a photographer, if I don't want to wear camo, I would rather have a dark color and gray is perfect. That's why you see the mule deer. They go from their summer coat of brown when they're putting on you know that tan brown to their fall coat of a dark gray. They just blend in. I mean, uh, I've seen people walk by moose. I watched a group up on Timpanogos one day walk by a cow moose that was just off the trail, sitting in the uh, sitting in the shade feeding. She was just in the shade of a fir tree, reaching out feeding. Um, sorry, I, you know, squirrel I have to go off a little sidetrack thing. But and I saw I sat and watched like 35 people walk by her and didn't even notice her because she was dark and in the shade. So as a photographer, I like dark colors. Um, I, gray is a perfect camel color to blend into the shade. So this is their uh, their Loftec jacket, the newest one. Um, I did notice it's a little tighter, um, actually a little bit tighter fit than, than the first generation, um, but it still fits me fine. And then as you saw, I had to get the down one, black. I like it a lot. It's a little bit more fluffier. It's virtually the exact same jacket as those I mean in every way shape or form except that it's got uh, goose down fill in it and um, uh, which is warmer um, it uh, is black in color other than that it's exactly the same uh, I like I said I really love these hoods you can just grab them and cinch them down from uh, here and here um, to you know there's the them back part they have uh, waist cinches uh, around your waist that you access in the pocket you just reach in there and there's a string you grab hold of it it grabs against that and you just pull and it cinches it up tight then to release it you just undo it um, really really comfortable and these things will pack up into the the pocket of the left the, the left pocket of the coat so yeah you just turn it inside out and start packing it in there and it packs up to literally be about that big. So I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, I find it a little bit tight to pack it into the pocket, and I'm afraid it might eventually mess up the zipper. Um, but if you were, you know, if you needed to pack it up tight like that, you could. So that's uh, their uh, adventure jacket, the downfilled adventure jacket too. So I, I bought all this stuff. I don't. You know, don't uh, take items free from anybody. And um, I bought it all, and I'm liking it a lot. Uh, I like layers. That's if you're going to get out and get out, you know, any time of the year, it's best to have layers on so that you can um, take off a layer if you start to get too warm. If you're going to be winter hiking, winter camping, you do not want to sweat. Sweating is bad in the winter time it'll get you cold that's how people get hypothermia and they die is from sweating so you wear layers and if you start to get warm you take a layer off and um, you know, if you end up half naked well <laughs> um, there's a guy <laughs> there's a guy that I don't know personally but he's a, an outfitter uh, uh, spent many many years as a hunting guide up in up in Canada and um, I watch him on YouTube all the time it's uh, howtohunt.com uh, is what it originally was. I think he's changed it to the facts. Um, but uh, he tells a story about being dropped into an area in the middle of nowhere in uh, Canada to, um, to hunt with some buddies. They uh, plane dropped him in there, you know, landed. To, they took off. They had it was a cabin, a little small cabin they were camping in. They're in the middle of nowhere. And they just got unloaded. They're putting their gear away and they're kind of out on the front porch of this thing as it were and one of his buddies says what's that what is that and he's like what huh and Steve said he looked up and these two girls butt naked come cross country skiing towards them just butt naked <laughs> and he said they were hot it's like they were really hot <laughs> and he said they they skied up right up to him and said, Hi guys, do you mind if we ski through here? And they also they just was like, uh 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 and Steve said, I mean there he is, they've got a cooler with beer. 
<laughs> and he's the only single guy there. And he's like, uh, sure. And they skied on. So they took off all their layers. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so um, this is what I got for Christmas for myself. Yeah, I buy stuff for myself. So I'm trying to, um, you know, just kind of restock my gear, get some new stuff, lighter weight stuff so I can go lighter weight backpacking. Um, getting back into really, I mean, I, I got out of it for a while because I just got life busy and got fat and old and I've lost, um, 35 pounds. I was at 185 and I'm down to just around 155. So you do the math. I'm bad at math, but, um, and I'm trying to lose more like 10, 15 more, um, been exercising a lot, getting out there hiking and, um, I'm getting back into backpacking. I used to be an avid backpacker, and um, life just gets in the way sometimes, and I've decided I'm making time for it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of gearing up for that. For this, I'm actually going to be going out in the snow here. I've got some more gear coming. I'm going to be sleeping in the snow in a hammock. So watch for that video when I get that gear, and it should be coming in any day. Um, I'll test it in the backyard before I go out. I'm going to be testing most of the stuff in the backyard for um, a month or so, you know, sitting out there, just chilling, wait, seeing how warm it gets and, you know, how cold I get before I actually go out. And then I'll do small outing, uh, like Willow Lake up uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon. I've got a video about our hike in there that we did here in October on Halloween. Um, I'm going to go in there and spend a night or so with this stuff. Um, and, you know, that way I'm only a mile from the car if I decide to bail, if I'm freezing my butt off or whatever. And then I'm slowly going to, as I dial it in, going to start going into more areas. I've got a spot in the Uinta Mountains. We snowshoed in there actually last year. Um, I haven't put that video out yet. And uh, um, really, really one of my favorite spots. And, and in the wintertime, that road is just buried under snow. You can get to it and, and park and then just hike in it's flat way back in there for like five or six miles it's just flat flat road that just goes straight for miles and then makes a couple turns but I'm gonna do a video in there too so um, eventually this winter I hope so watch for that and uh, thanks for watching and uh, happy trails <laughs>